To let you get to know the team a little bit better, they were asked a series of questions. And here are their responses. First off, are you reading anything interesting right now? I read all the time. As I mentioned, audiobooks are kind of my thing. I really get into mystery detective novels. When the pandemic first began, I sort of got away from those a little bit because I wanted upbeat, positive material, but I've just transitioned kind of back into those. I don't know as if I necessarily have a good book that I'm reading right now, but I have a few authors that I really enjoy for that genre. One would be Michael Connelly with the Harry Bosch series, Jonathan Kellerman and the Alex Delaware series. So I am not reading any books right now. I keep downloading them onto my Kindle uh, for my library. Um, and I re actually, Kindle is a really great assistive technology device too. I have insomnia um, and using the Kindle paper nut paper white that doesn't have the backlighting but has side lighting um, is a really great way for me to read before bed without getting the light right into my eyes that add to my insomnia. So I am reading more like articles um, because I don't have, my brain is just not able to do long books right now. Um, so I keep up on things by reading um, articles from the Washington Post and by following people that are important to me or share values that I share or have interesting things for me to learn about. Right now, I'm, uh, I'm reading a, a book on how you make work systems function better than they do. It's a long-standing problem in every modern culture that work environments don't work well. And it's an interesting book. It was written 30 years ago, and uh, it's a great take. It's by a Frenchman. I am reading um, just some just some self care books um, about how to create space in your life where you can give yourself a signal that the work day is over or your stress level is to the point where um, you need to take a break and it kind of helps you recognize how to recognize those physical uh, symptoms in your body when you when you've had enough. Uh, it's actually called burnout. I am. Not reading the book these days. No, not right now. I just tricked my Goodreads. I currently am reading 21 books. Um, not super accurate, but I start books a lot, but I don't necessarily finish finish them. But the most recent ones, I guess, would be Field Notes from an Unintentional Birder, and then also it's called The Book of Eels, um, because where do eels come from? Freshwater eels? Like, um, it's like nobody knows, um, and I'm really excited to read it and hopefully finish it. Not at the moment. Um, not currently. I just finished um, The Song of Achilles, which was an amazing book, and I'll probably start something sci-fi soon. Unless you count uh, sports articles, really nothing book-wise. I find myself always kind of reading news and sports news. Next, are you binging on any TV shows? No, I am not one of those folks that can binge watch TV. I don't really get into TV all that much. I know, insert a gasp here. <laughs> uh, my son, however, he binge watches pretty much any show that he gets really involved with, and so the most recent was Stranger Things. I am watching some legal thrillers from the UK uh, right now. I, I do kind of like uh, legal dramas, uh, so I'm using my Alexa device for that as well. I'm binging on something called the Ipcrest Files, which was a movie I saw when I was much younger, in the, in the 60s. And um, I really liked the movie. And this is a series, so I, I went to watch it, and I had to say I was impressed with it, and I'm going to keep plugging away till I get through the entire first season. I am. I have been binging on a show on Netflix um, called The Last Kingdom, and it has to do with the Vikings and the Danes, and, and very contrary to my personality, it's kind of violent, but has a really... Um, good backstory and I like the costumes and the accents and the, the action and drama. The last show I binged on 
was comedians in cars getting coffee with with Jerry Seinfeld. It was a show where he drove a little, picked up a friend who was a another comedian and interviewed them. <laughs> so actually, I'm late to the Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> and I did just start that um, last weekend. And I'm like, oh, there's 18 seasons. So <laughs> I don't. that's going to take me forever. But yes, I just started Grey's Anatomy. Um, so far, so good. I haven't really had time recently to binge um, any shows, but what we do in the shadows because a new season just came out um what i've done been doing a lot of rewatching of like over the garden wall um great british baking show stranger things the it crowd i always just fall asleep to gray's anatomy that's about all i have time for right now uh again just finished uh barry which i highly recommend um, and I'll probably end up watching The Sopranos again because there's not much up there right now. <laughs> I am binging on um, a show that's coming out weekly, which is Hard Knocks. Um, and this season it's about the Lions. Uh, Hard Knocks is like a football show made by HBO Sports that just covers the NFL training camp of different teams. So currently they're covering the Detroit Lions, which obviously is my hometown team. So I uh, am in love with that. Last one. If you were stuck on a deserted island, what three things would you bring? So if I were stuck on a deserted island and I needed to bring, or I only had the option to bring three items, depending on what we're talking about, if I had access to power or Wi-Fi, oh my goodness, like all of these things. <laughs> so I would want my phone that has all of the apps that I use to function throughout the day. Um, however, some of them don't need Wi-Fi, so I could probably live without Wi-Fi. But I definitely would need a power source. So maybe what I would do is bring my phone and a solar charging battery device of some kind. I don't know what it, that would be. And then I would need some type of sustenance to survive, right? Um, but man, do I love sweets and baked goods. So I would probably have an endless supply of like chocolate chip cookies or brownies or something like that. I think I would bring my instant pot and hopefully a source of electricity for it. Um, to be able to cook and seeds and things for growing food. And my family. Um, I would not be, want to be stuck on a deserted island all alone. So I think together we would we would make that work out. If I was stuck on a deserted island, I would uh, I would want um, a solar panel so that I could uh, uh, keep a, a Kindle and um, and a phone that I could access music on. Everything else I could probably find some kind of solution for. I think I'd bring my service dog. Um, I would bring a tablet loaded up with books and movies and probably Reese's peanut butter cups to keep me going. I th was thinking about this in a funny way. I'd say an unlimited amount of food help me be comfortable sleeping in certain iPad with a solar charger. So I would bring my phone, a solar uh, charger for my phone, and some fuzzy socks. I would bring uh, probably a satellite phone, a fully stocked RV, and a fire starter. I would probably bring a fire starter, um, a tarp and a pot to boil water in. I'm definitely bringing my phone. Uh, I'll probably bring my cat Kevin because uh, even though I don't love meat, he's a hunter and he'd probably keep us alive. Uh, and probably a water filter. I think this is unique because I didn't really set any ground rules for these questions when I made them. So then I am going to bring a laptop that has a solar charger with it. I would also bring a car since we're 
not really setting any ground rules here for what the three items can be. I'm going to bring a car. And lastly, I'd probably bring a wilderness kit with things like a fire starter and different tools that I could use like an axe to chop down things. Thanks for watching and follow us for more on assistive technology.